The world today is more connected than ever. With the advent of new technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things, consumers and businesses alike are gobbling up data on a scale never seen before. Huge data centers spring up to meet this demand head-on, occupying large quantities of land and consuming enormous amounts of electricity and water. But are our energy needs truly sustainable? Can our quest to go green ever go hand-in-hand -hand with our never-ending need for more data? And exactly how energy efficient or sustainable is this industry? Is the solution to this problem really just curbing our individual data consumption? Yes, the reason why we want to curb data consumption is because more data uh, means more data storage, means bigger data centers. The problem is that nowadays data is pretty much for free. People take a picture of a pizza, five different angles, and store it, repost it, reshare it, etc. And that leads to an explosive growth of you know, data. As internet usage expands and more populations come online, isn't there something that data center providers can do to play their part? Yeah, sure, they could. You know, obviously, we could look at, say, less data replication. Uh, there is too much data being replicated for redundancy's sake. Now, for businesses, and that also important and sensitive family picture, that might be a good idea. But do we need to stare and you know, store all the data and replicate it? So we can have one copy and that is more than enough. So limiting it is definitely a, a good idea. So is this one of the reasons why the Singapore government has introduced the moratorium on data centers? Yeah, the moratorium was basically brought to life to curb the data center power usage. So by putting a temporary limit on it, um, obviously less data centers being built, less power being consumed by those data centers. But I don't think it's always a good idea, especially not for the longer term. The problem that we have is that you can't stop data centers from being built. If I can't do it in Singapore, I will go elsewhere. And that is a problem because data centers are typically being built and they stay there for the next 10, 15 years. So if somebody makes a decision not to build it in Singapore, but somewhere else, you lose the business for the t next 10, 15 years. Not only the people working in the data center, but also the whole supply chain. And once they're gone, you don't easily get them back. Do you think that Singapore's sustainability goals are feasible? It's very hard, and not just for Singapore. It's basically very hard for many countries. Uh, we've seen that you can't stop the demand, therefore you need to continue to grow. But the only way to do it is either slow down demand, very hard to do, unless you start charging for it, because charging for demand automatically will lead to a cultural and behavioral change, um, and that might help you know, to slow down a little bit on the data center growth as well. The other part is, of course, for data centers to really start looking into you know, what can we actually do to reduce power consumption. Nowadays, a lot of data centers are looking at the facility portion, but my view is that there should be much more done on the IT side. Because if you save one kilowatt on the IT side, you basically save a multiple of kilowatt on the facility side. So try to reduce the amount of data generated. And if it's generated, try to store and process it in a much more efficient way. So energy efficiency on data centers, absolutely a must. But IT efficiency, that's where the key you know, savings can be done.